Okay, people, welcome back to another Foolish News update. Uh, today, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the upcoming Star Wars figures. I know I just did an update a couple weeks ago, but there has been new figures announced from several different companies. And first of all, I'm going to get this out of the way because I don't know how much I have to say about it, and that's Metacom's Mafex line. They just solicited both a Clone Trooper and a Classic Sand Trooper. Now, the Clone Trooper, it comes with two different heads. Just like the Bandai model kit, it comes with the Phase 1 helmet and the Phase 2 helmet. So, you order the figure and you get to choose which version you want. And then with the Sand Trooper, it's nice and dirty. Uh, the Mafex promotional pictures are really good about showing how good the figure looks, but there's no way of telling how durable the figure is until we get it in our hands. And with Mafex's track record lately, at least in my experience, with almost half the figures falling apart or being stuck or being just flimsy messes, I don't know how much I can trust this line anymore. I'm going to because their Ray looks fantastic, and I talked about Ray in the last update, so go back to there. But I don't know if I need troopers this bad. I'm still waiting for the Boba Fett to come out. That will be the determining factor. And then for the Black Series line, I think right after the update, people started finding the hover tank driver at Toys R Us. Uh, it's a Toys R Us exclusive. With people finding it now, I'm pretty confident it's going to be at Force Friday this week, which is cool because I need this figure. And that makes me want to hit Toys R Us right off the bat. Hopefully get that. And then Target's having like $10 off $50 spent or $25 off $100. So I'll probably go there the next day and try to get Series 1 but the hover tank driver at this point is my top priority, at least when it comes to Black Series and Force Friday and me being out at midnight with all the crazy people. And then at Kmart, there's a Jen Urso. Uh, she kind of has this indoor-looking gear. She comes with kind of a base that's jagged rocks and such. This looks like a good figure. I think there's only two Kmarts left in the state, and I think they're both closing. Uh, one of them's about an hour away from me. My wife found it last week, but they would not sell it to her, stating that it was illegal to sell it. Now... I don't know about illegal. I can see fines and stuff, but the store is closing anyway. What's up with that? You walk in, it says closing soon, and then it says now hiring. I don't understand Kmart at all. But you know what? When it comes down to it, I'm good with it. I have the San Diego Jen or so. I can wait on a different version. I have the character, even though this new version looks cool, and I will probably end up with it somehow. I don't need it right off the bat. And then we get to the Bandai model kits. Uh, there's a hobby show going on in Japan right now, and uh, they showed off some new model kits. I talked about the Death Trooper in the last update. It's going to be friggin' awesome. I need that thing now. But at this show, they revealed graphics for K2SO and the Scarif Stormtrooper. I'm still not sure what Scarif means, but we'll find out, I guess. Now, looking at the K2SO, I'm torn between the Black Series and the model kit. Yes, I know there's a figure arts version coming, but maybe small, and uh, I don't know. There's just something about it. The Black Series is going to be easy to get, so I'll probably get it first, and then wait for the model kit, and then choose between the two, like I usually do with these figures. The Scarif Stormtrooper is interesting. First of all, this is the third version we're seeing of this figure, the SH Figure Arts Black Series, and now this version. And it looks like there's different options for this figure as far as decals go. You can see in the three different figures, one of them has red and blue. The blue is on the sides of the torso. On the next figure, it's red on the bicep and blue at the shoulders, but no blue on the torso. On the far left version, you just have red on the bicep. And you can see that the one in the middle doesn't have the below the belt armor pieces or the whatever, the bottom skirt. Different options options here, so you know what that means? I'm gonna have to buy two or three. Damn it, Star Wars is expensive this year. And then also on the model kit front, I know I'm a 112 scale kind of guy. Um, I love six inch figures. Uh, that's the bulk of my collection. But I do buy just the occasional 12 inch figure every now and then. Hot Toys the Crow, Hot Toys the Dark Knight Joker, and I have Deadpool on order right now. Just the ones that jump out at me that I'm big fans of their characters in the movie. But I never got into the Hot Toys Star Wars because that is not a cliff I want to jump off of. Once I got one, I'd need something to go with that. Then I need a bad guy to fight against and then I'd need secondary characters to go with the primary characters, and mm -mm -mm, mm -mm. I would be divorced, homeless, but I'd have a lot of cool shit. So, come all the way back around, the model kit line is now offering a 112 scale Stormtrooper. Now, this does look like the Stormtrooper from Rogue One. It has that kind of slightly different look to it, but I'm good with that. And given that it's coming out in December, which, by the way, is when the K2SO and the Scarif Stormtrooper models come out, Death Troopers in November, I'm gonna have to order
order this. I'll just do a bulk order for three models at the same time. One 12 inch model and then two six inch models all at the same time. With shipping as it is from overseas right now, being expensive as hell, being able to bulk up like this, mm, awesome. And I can add a Star Wars figure to my little itty bitty 12 inch shelf. I'm good with that too. And if they continue this line like with Darth Vader or any other character that they want to do. Like a couple months ago they kind of teased at a one half scale BB-8. They actually had the model out on display. But we haven't heard anything about that since. Maybe they're waiting for episode 8. I don't know. But that thing is going to be huge and I'm going to need it. Because I'm a model kit freak and I can't help spending my money on every single model kit that comes out. That is an action figure. And then finally the SH Figure Arts Han. I did talk about this in the last update but since since then there's been a magazine scan show up and it has Chewbacca in it. The text says something like in development buddy Chewbacca which from now on Chewbacca's first name is going to be buddy to me but just them announcing that it's in development is friggin awesome. I know he's coming and it gives people more of an incentive to get the Han Solo because they know Chewbacca's coming but I also feel like this Han Solo is so great looking that people didn't need any extra incentive to get it. I already feel like it's going to be a nightmare to order whenever he goes up for pre-order. But now that people know it's going to be a set, I'm going to have to sit there all night with my finger on the button just waiting for it. That's going to be a toughie. Upcoming reviews, I have the Bandai Figurized Dragon Ball Z Perfect Cell model to build and then review. I already built the Gohan. I cheated. I couldn't help it. I was waiting on something else and I decided just to start building. But it's essentially like the Goku, just smaller scale. So not a lot of surprise there. But I'll throw in a look at that when I get to sell. And then I have some other stuff. I don't know what I'm going to get to, but I'm afraid Force Friday is going to sneak up and there's going to be a lot of stuff to look at. If you listen to the podcast, you know Veebs and I, we're kind of looking at these Black Series Stormtrooper helmets. I kind of want the Shadow Trooper. He kind of wants the classic one. So there may be a look at that. You may be looking at my ugly mug next week trying to stuff my big melon into a Stormtrooper helmet. So I don't know. Some surprises. We'll see what happens. So if you like this news update, comment, like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the foosh.